I hate it when he does this, playing with his food when he should just kill him and get it over with. But I'm simple like that. Not to say this guy doesn't deserve it. I'll tell you why in a minute. First, let me introduce myself. My name's Leo. Leo the Ironhead. There's Valentine the Brute, Mad Dog Thompson, Tammy the Cat, and our boss, Scarlet Miles. Let's just say we specialize in making problems go away. Now some might call into question the paradox of making a living by depriving other people of theirs. But I never had that issue. I got to hang out with people who truly were the best at what they did. And that was always good enough for me. And then it happened. What was supposed to be the happiest moment of my life was rudely interrupted when duty called. Apparently someone had made the mistake of crossing Miss Scarlet. It seemed like a routine job at first, but it would be the last time I saw the cat alive. It's not that we weren't prepared for the occasional mark that could fight back. It's just that this guy was in a whole other league. Luckily Valentine was no slouch either. Needless to say, we were all looking forward to this night. In one night, I lost my entire family of killers, one of them being my would-be fiancé. He was very good, but he made one mistake. He left me breathing. It would take some time for the scars to heal, but once they did, I was coming for him, and hell would be close behind me. Finding him wasn't too hard. Killing him, however... Not so much.
I recovered just in time to see him cut through a nearby house so he could escape into the woods behind it. Felt confident enough to help himself to a change of clothes along the way. Last mistake he ever made. Hit him hard. Hit him fast. Don't give him an opening. Don't let him get composed. Keep up the pressure. That was for Mad Dog. That was for Valentine. This is for the cat. Unfortunately, he survived his fall, but he was paralyzed from the neck down and laying in a disease-ridden creek, so I figured I'd put some duct tape over his mouth and let nature take care of him. He deserved that much. And now I'm alone. No one to watch my back. No one to tell stories to. No one to grow old with. Just me and the job. Well, back to work. Or you to keep you safe and warm. 